So we've been getting so many reports about iOS 17, and actually probably more reports about the last couple updates of iOS 16. Now it's looking like to us from everything that we've been seeing so far, that after iOS 16.4, the betas that we've already gotten, there's going to be one more update that Apple's basically going to be giving us, and it's going to be iOS 16.5. Then after 16.5, it's looking like iOS 17 is going to be that next major release. We're already in February, we're almost in March. The betas are probably going to start rolling out very, very early June. So we are roughly about three months, or maybe not even three months away from us seeing the first couple betas from iOS. Now, the perspective and the way that we've kind of been seeing iOS 17 kind of get released is basically, you know, Apple's been focusing so much on their AR and VR headset that pretty much when it comes down to it, iOS 17 is not looking to be that big of an update, which is very sad because I personally feel like it could have easily been a very, very big update, but it looks like there's going to be specific features and or there could be different, you know, features from different regions. So what that means is basically, for those of you who haven't been following along, the European Union basically states and stated that they have to go ahead and pretty much allow Apple to basically, you know, allow us to install third-party applications. That's essentially what that rule or what that what they basically ruled on. And I think that is a very, very important thing. And that is probably one of the most important things I've ever seen a company or a country do. And that is greatly going to, you know, quickly change my perspective on iPhones. Now, in this specific situation, iOS 17 is supposed to be the catalyst in which that specific software is supposed to be, you know, giving us those specific features. So right now, if you were somebody who was planning on getting an iPhone, you know, 15 or 14, and you're planning on upgrading to iOS 17, you should be able to have those features, which is amazing. But the biggest thing, and I think the most important thing that this beta is going to be bringing are those security changes beyond the just installing third-party apps, which is probably the most important thing to me. For a majority of people, the security fixes and the bug fixes, hopefully that Apple is going to be implementing. I'm really hoping that those are the main focuses beyond than just the installing third-party apps. There are still tons of people who are having so many issues within their iPhones. There's just massive, you know, security risks. I feel like there's still massive security risks on iOS 16 right now, but also the glitches and the random shutdowns and the battery issues. There's so many problems within iOS 16 still that I'm surprised that Apple still hasn't really pushed out as many updates as they could have. They've waited weeks and weeks and weeks for us to get updates within our devices, and I find that very weird. For a company like Apple, who, you know, spent so much time in R&D, if they're focusing so much on their one product, which is their AR VR headsets, I hope they don't just abandon their iPhones, you know, because we have a major iOS 17 release coming about, and I hope they're focusing their attention on that. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.